Okay, so if you just want, yeah, the, just the second one there is all I okay. need. That'll be fine. Um, so, I mean, just very briefly, I suppose what we've already been doing is the lectures, the workshops um, and meetings, and we try and um, the students, when they're out, they do lesson evaluations and the schemes of work, they have to include them within that. We have the Development Education Day. The, some students do their action research projects on it. So there's a wide range of things that are going on there at the moment. Now the focus is predominantly on the year one. Um, and what I'm really interested in now is kind of focusing more into year two. So I think if we just go on to the next one, Deirdre, because I'm just going to do this very fast. So this is, I suppose, really where I want to bring it forward to. Um, we've already started this year um, with Self Help Africa. Hugh came down and he did a work, new workshop with our second years, which was great. And we're really focusing now on the, the why, because in the first year we kind of focus on how do you bring development education in. And I'm really interested now in getting the students thinking about why so that they can really understand the logic and that it makes sense to them and that it has value for their students. Um, and so going forward, I suppose I want a little bit more in terms of the re sharing of resources, um, particularly in relation to methodologies. And we have quite a few artifacts that we've built up over the years with Ubuntu funding. So we're starting to share those now for the asynchronous learning. And I'm going to continue to do that as we go forward. And we're really pushing the students to bring, um, in second year in particular, to bring um, the DE element into their schemes of work and to show that they are actually doing this then in their practice as well. In terms of, fa of staff development, again, it's an area we really need to start pushing forward on. So particularly SP tutors, the placement tutors and methodologists. Again, I've talked with you um, and, and Dorothy, I see Dorothy is there. And we are going to run a workshop, a new workshop for staff in that area this year to get our staff kind of up to, um, up to speed on everything. And we want a lot, lot more of the sharing of the resources and um, ideas and dialogue in and around about that. Um, in terms of um, visibility in the programmes, I really want to push more on getting um, a separate section on our Blackboard and getting everything that we do up there, in, in particular, I suppose, our artefacts and any resources that are now going to be developed and shared. Notification of events, and I have a... I had last year a developed education committee and I'm reforming this year. Everything's kind of behind this year. Um, and I'm reforming that this year and I wanted them then to take a little bit of ownership of that and to share in terms of um, any events that are going on. So to give them different, I suppose, uh, responsible areas of responsibility and that our DE committee would take and then that it would filter out into the, I suppose, the student community. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm interested, I suppose, for the development of the TY program. So again, this year I'm going to do online and I'm going to try and do, I suggested with the local school that we work on in, in particular, that um, I might do a little bit for, I say, they're having difficulty getting school play, um, work experience for their students. So I said, look at I'll do work with students on and off using some of our PME students as well that are in that school, and um, that we might do something with the students in and around about DevEd and kind of do a little bit of work experience, get them doing a little bit of research, and that would help our own students to be predominantly PME year two students. And then new artifacts that I've put in for this year, if we get the funding for them, I think they'd be very useful and um, in terms of going forward, using them, particularly for the asynchronous learning and just developing that whole idea of why development education is really important is what I'm really pushing now at the moment and getting them to really, I suppose, engage with it from that perspective. 